Meanwhile, Albuquerque homicide detectives are busy tonight with not one, but two new investigations. The first one happening this morning close to Central and Pennsylvania. The second one only six hours later at the Twisters, which is near Manal and University. Griffin Rushton joins us now in downtown Albuquerque with more on both of these investigations. So Griffin, police say they noticed some similarities. Yeah, they did. APD leaders say it appears both killings involved a group of people who took off running after shooting someone. However, police say there is no evidence directly connecting both incidents. The first shooting happened in a neighborhood near Central and Pennsylvania this morning. Police say a man was shot and later died at a local hospital. As of tonight, there is no information about a potential suspect or suspects. It's a strikingly similar story for today's second deadly shooting. It happened at the Twisters near Manal and University around 4 p.m. Investiga investigators believe there was some type of altercation in front of the restaurant and a man was shot. Police say that man was also taken to the hospital where he also died. APD leaders say they are still interviewing witnesses and reviewing surveillance video to hopefully identify any suspects. If there's anyone in the community who has possibly has video or any knowledge of this homicide, please call 242 cops um, and, and let them know. Now it appears today's shootings are the 16th and 17th homicide investigations for Albuquerque police this year, which is a few more than this time last year. However, police leaders did notice another trend after today's two deadly shootings. We were looking back at last March of last year, um, we had three murders in one day last year around the same time period. So we've had a relatively quiet um, February and now we've had a few homicides here in March. So it kind of ebbs and flows as we all know, um, but it's putting our, our detectives at work. Albuquerque police have not yet identified either of the victims in today's shootings. Tessa, Trevor. All right, Griffin, thanks for the update on that.